Hello everyone from the RPE Innovation Summit here in Denver, Colorado. Day one of what will be an exciting summit looking at the future of energy. Uh, I'm here in booth 600, GE Research's booth, where we are talking about the energy transition and all the impact that GE scientists and engineers and our businesses are having uh, to basically create a more sustainable future. So if you get a chance, stop by booth 600. We also have 11 project booths uh, spread out all over the, the hall. We're gonna be introducing those to you throughout the week. But today I'm pleased to be joined by Danielle Murfeld, our CTO of the Renewable Energy Business. Helped open the RPE conference this morning with an amazing keynote address. Danielle, thanks for doing this. And, and tell us more about what you shared with the uh, RPE attendees today. Sure, Todd, thanks. So my talk was really about the transformation that we need to enable a sustainable future. And it was trying to be pretty all-encompassing, sharing a lot of what GE is doing in context of what everyone needs to be doing together. And my main messages were about um, clean electrification and what that means for the grid. But also, I got a chance to touch on clean fuels, about why it's more than just a technical challenge, that there's policy and legislation that needs to happen here too, but um, great feedback. Why are these summits and events so important? So the reason why I think they're so important, and I mentioned this in the keynote this morning, is because this forum allows us to really combine forces with all the potential collaborations with government, academia, other industry players, and it, that's what it's going to take to make these transformation happen across the energy sector. Collaboration is what it's all about. I mentioned 11 project booths that we have around the center. We're going to introduce you to them all. We start with three tonight, starting with this one. I'm Akane Suzuki, principal engineer at GE Research. We are working on ultimate refractory alloy innovations for superior efficiency. In this project, we are developing critical material technologies for improving the efficiency of power generation gas turbines. We are, um, we are developing three key technologies. First is the um, new alloy capable to 1300 degrees C. Current alloy for the gas turbine blade can only work up to 1150 degrees C. So that's more than 150 degrees C improvement. Second, we are developing new coating system for the new that, that can work with new niobium-based alloy. And with the layered structure, this coating can make the operating temperature of blade to 1700 degrees C. Lastly, we are also developing a manufacturing technology for this new niobium-based alloy. And we are developing cost-effective scalable casting process. And uh, this, is, um, this is an example of the casting we made. So this new alloy casts very well. If this project is successful, uh, this te these technologies will enable to improve the efficiency of gas turbines significantly and uh, we can reduce the carbon emissions. Hi, I'm Dr. Ronald Lizenhut. I'm a senior scientist at GE Research and I'm the uh, PI on uh, this FLEX program for RPE. So the, the FLEX program was born out of the idea that carbon capture has been tested under base load conditions had never been really tested on a variable grid. And so the idea for this program was to say, um, what would the carbon capture have to look like on a grid that had a lot of variable renewables? And so what we did was we decided that we didn't want to look at a chemical process to remove carbon, cap remove carbon from flue gas, but instead looked at an alternate technology that inherently um, captures the carbon um, that's oxy-combustion, that comes out of a pure uh, CO2 stream, um, however, you have to have an air separation unit, and so we've been working on how to make that air separation unit flexible by adding oxygen storage tanks to the plant design. So the final objective of the program is to um, understand the economics of how a um, oxy combustion uh, plant with oxygen storage would uh, fare on a grid with variable renewables. And we have colleagues are, uh, at, at NREL and at Princeton that took our information and put it into their expansion capacity models and showed that adding oxygen storage makes this plant more economical on a grid of the future. Yes, my name is John Yelsky, and I'm a senior principal engineer for electrical machines in the Power Electronics Organization at GE Research. Yeah, our, 
our project is working on decarbonizing the commercial aviation business. That requires, for large commercial aircraft, we need to develop megawatt scale propulsion systems. And part of that system takes the DC power that's generated on the aircraft to the propulsion that would drive a, a fan that would move the aircraft through the air. In doing that, we're taking the uh, key technologies to improve the power density of those components to reduce their weight to make them viable for use on the aircraft and then integrating them in the most novel way we can to again reduce the weight. In the process we're taking the power delivered at voltages at three times what's on the aircraft currently and at power levels that are multiple times what's currently electrified on an aircraft. And at simultaneously we're creating a propulsion system that takes the weight of those components down by a factor of eight to make it viable to fly. The, the ultimate goal of this project is to develop the components and then the system integration that enables an all-electric, narrow-body aircraft to decarbonize the future of flight.